Hey guys, I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Princess. Now, I did say I'd be doing a small uh, side thing, and this is it. And when I say small, I definitely mean small. It's only going to be about two videos, because this is one damn short game. So let's have a look at some of the game settings. It gives us two items to use throughout the entire game, and choosing a certain item will kind of make it a little bit more challenging. So the boomerang and the rock's feather are going to make the game the easiest, which I'll probably go for mainly because I love the boomerang and I can't be bothered to have a challenge. We can also have the bow and arrow and the bomb chew. Uh, we have the rock's feather, the hook shot or the cuckoo to use as a double jump item. I think it's the cuckoo, I'm not too sure. We have sound effects, controls and going back to the title screen for <laughs> probably what I can only imagine as video. Uh, recording purposes, but let's continue and play the game. It's the Dirt Temple! And here we have our hero in green with sword and shield. Doesn't he look familiar? No, shut up. Anyway, moving on. This is a very annoying game because I got hit by the first enemy. This is a very fast paced version of a certain Legend of Zelda game on the NES we all remember as being the I don't know, can you remember it as being the black sheep of the Legend of Zelda games, being so as a side-scroller? Well, I'll tell you one thing, it's taken that aspect, this game has taken that aspect and has made it really fast-paced and enjoyable. I really enjoy this game. Unfortunately, it's really short. Uh, it was only made as like a... Really, it was only made by the creator because he was bored. And that's all I remember reading up about it. He was bored, he wanted to test out some things, and he made a very, 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 very short game like this. Heavily inspired by The Legend of Zelda, if you didn't guess already. <clears throat> and unfortunately, we won't be seeing any more uh, apart from this very, very short game. But it's a short but sweet thing. I mean, it's fast paced, action packed. Adventure side scrolling fun like uh, Zelda 2 should have been. But uh, I don't quite imagine Zelda 2 would have been this nice to look at. The facial expression on um, whoever our hero is going to be called, we're going to call him George. Uh, the facial expression on George reminds me a lot of Eager Raptors style of cartoons. Just the fact that he has no pupils. So, if you didn't guess already, those enemies can only be defeated by hitting the back of their head. So let's use this torch to light everything, including that over there. Give me rupees! Ha! Give me lagging rupees. More rupees! Nice! Alright, we now have a key. Which door should we go for? This one! doesn't matter which door you go for, but I went for this one anyway. Nah, you know what, screw it. All the rupees really do is uh, add to your final score near the end. We need this block more than once. The only downside is this guy tries to take our block away. How dare he? Teach him a lesson. When it comes to thinking of commentary for this damn game, all I can think of doing is, like, almost three or four word instructions. Hit that hand! Strike that bat! Push that block! Kill that Octorok! Yeah, 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 yeah! Collect that rupee! Don't stop moving! So yeah, there's a lot of enthusiasm put in this game. It's so full of high energy. I might be able to get almost halfway through at the rate I'm going. I say halfway, it's like almost near the end boss, <laughs> when I say halfway. Damn it. Okay, I very much doubt I will now. Every little moment wasted is a moment I may not be able to get to the final boss before the video ends. We must hurry! I don't have time to mess around with you guys, but I have time to get a compass. Oh no, it's another one of these. You know what, screw it, let's not bother. But we can jump up here to get Fairy, which will be very handy against boss fights. 
What's going on? Whoa! It's an evil guy. Yeah, I know. I said that kind of fast. Never mind. Alright, cheap way of doing it. Boomerang. Of course, like I said, the boomerang makes this game a lot easier. If you were trying to use, like, a bow and arrow or something, this would be a little harder because you'd have to jump behind him to actually do any damage, but not a worry. So when he's using his reflective mode, you just have to wait until he tries to ground pound you and ground pound him back. If you don't already guess how to ground pound, then you seriously have problems. This can be... Uh, this game can be played with a controller. Ow, that hurt. Which uh, is what I'm doing now. Ow, I should have stayed on the floor. Never mind. Hopefully the frame rate will come out okay, because it can run a bit slow, because it is very fast, and so it may look a little bit weird, I guess, like a lot's going on. Because it is, there is a lot going on. Alright, I learned from my past mistakes to not jump there. Come on! Yes, I've defeated him. Good. So that's our dark side defeated. Oh yeah, he just exploded. Because we're that badass, we make our enemies explode. As he said, running with his sword high in the air. Alright, key! Let's go to our next destination. Damn you, Octorok. And whatever those dragon thingies were called in the water, I can't remember. I never actually paid attention to them much because I'd usually see them and just run. <laughs> I was like, you know what, screw those. Ah, uh, okay, there's just rupees down there, I'm not really worried about them. And I'm not really worried about that either, because that's just rupees as well. Die! Yeah! Ah, another trap! Ow, 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 ow! Die, you sea creatures of death! Wow, I had to wait for my boomerang to come back. Alright, so that's all of them done. And the oppa! There you go! Come on, give me the goods! Alright, what's gonna go on here then? Whoa. A pair of evil eyes. With a purple sword of fire! Alright, so you have to make him attack the lights to reveal his presence. Oh wow, it's a pig. Shooting a ball of energy. And you have to reflect it. How original! Uh-oh! Whoa! Come on, Ganon. I mean, come on, mysterious creature who I don't know the name of. I lick... No. I, um... James? George? George. I think I named him George, although I might name him James. Yes, we're going to name him James from now on. I, James, shall smite ye. Don't you dare use your Kamehameha on me. Actually, no, a Kamehameha is a bean. Um, Spirit Ball? Why am I even trying to make up a name for that damn attack? Whoa! Now it's really time to fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot to mention, like any, um, this kind of game, you can charge your attacks to make spinning awesomeness. Though I've never really had much of a use for it, to be honest. Not yet, at least. He said, like, it's, like he's pretending it's a long game. Alright, boss key, but we won't have enough time to fight the boss in this video, unfortunately. I'm Mega g -Wolf, and I'll see you next time for what shall be the last episode of The Legend of Princess. See you next time, viewers. Ta-da!